Hey Soloholics and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom Snapchat filters in Silhouette Studio. Now, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I drop new videos. One of the greatest features of 4.2 is the ability to save as PNGs, which is what is a requirement for Snapchat. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. Now, according to uh, their requirements for Snapchat filters, it has changed. Uh, so the new requirement is that it has to be 1080p by 2340. Now, that is going to be ideal for larger screen phones. Now, there are still some people who have like the smaller screens and you will have a limitation on, you know, what they will see. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to explain all of that and where you want to keep your artwork and like your words and all the important stuff too. But that's going to be 1080p by 19.20 uh, pixels. And you want to make sure that you keep your uh, important information, things that you really want to be on um, all snaps. No matter what phone it is, you want to keep it within that range. All right. Essentially, this right here breaks down to 10.8 by 23.4. And then this one, 10.8 by 19.2. So that's what we're going to set up. We're going to go over here to our design page and we're going to set our width to 10.8 enter tab and 20 we're on 23.4 so now we have that part set up okay now you're going to come over here to your uh draw rectangle and just going to make a rectangle it doesn't matter what size and then you're going to come up to your scale now, if for some reason on your screen, based off of like the size of your screen, you don't see your scale up here, um, the numbers, you may see this icon. You can drop down on it and it should bring up uh, where you can put in the dimensions or you can simply go to your transform window, go to scale and enter it here. You do want to make sure no matter which one you choose that it is unlocked so that you can force it to the dimensions that you need. And we're going to match it to the page size. So that's going to be 10.8 tab by 23.4. Enter. Then you want to hit this icon here to center to page, or you can come over to your align and center to page. We can also turn off. We don't need anything as far as cut border, print border, anything like that. All right. Now what you want to do is take this, um, the same one. We're going to copy it. And we're going to paste it in front. We're going to click back on it again. And we're going to change that height to 19.2. Right. It's going to automatically adjust it to where it's even on both sides. I like to take that one for template purposes and make it a different line. So I'm just going to make mine a dash line. Let's make it maybe the one that's a little bit bigger. And then for my outside line, I'm just going to make that one blue. Right. And my, I make this one red because I know that's the area that I don't want to go past. Now I can take those two and group them together. Now, if you have designer edition or above, you can make this its own separate layer that you can lock and then show and not show. That way, when you are designing, you're not clicking on it and moving it around. So again, this is if you have designer edition or above. If you don't, it's fine. You just leave it there, group it together. You will design around it and just make sure, you know, you're not clicking on it and moving it around. All right, but I'm going to go here. And this is that one. So I'm just going to click on it, double click on it, and put template layer. All right. I want to make that a layer of its own. So I'm going to come make sure I'm up here. I'm going to hit plus, And I'm going to just name this one template. Oh, come on.
And then I'm going to move this one here. And then I'm going to take the whole thing and move it all the way down to the bottom. Right, so that it's on the bottom. And we're going to lock it in place. All right, so now we have that. So this is the area that you want to keep all of your major um, artwork or words in. If you happen to add, which I think I still have it here, I guess I don't. So if you happen to add anything here, like maybe a border or maybe like a fading background or anything like that, like you want to add additional um, elements to it, you can put it up here. And on wider phones, you will see it. So you can frame out the page um, or frame out the screen. But on smaller phones, it's going to end right here. So you want to keep all your artwork there. Now, like I said, this isn't necessarily a full-on design because you can make this any way you want. So I already have some pre-made um, elements that I'm just going to add to this. You also don't want to flood your entire um, visible area. Snapchat will actually click it, kick it back if you don't have enough transparent area um, exposed. So you don't want to necessarily, you don't want to flood it and just have a bunch of stuff on there because when someone goes to take a picture, you want to make sure that their face is framed really nicely or the scene that you're taking a picture of is framed nicely and your all of your artwork isn't completely covering them. The other thing to think about is colors and, you know, thinking about maybe how it will be used in certain colors may not show up on, um, you know, every type of picture, depending on what color the background is, what color someone's clothes is, and things of that nature, right? So ideally, you want to keep your design in the top, like the, like 25% of your top and bottom. So you want to just kind of keep it, um, I like to go no um, bigger than 2.5. So at the top, we're going to go here. This one is a little, it's going to be a little bit taller than that, but that's only because of my picture, but it's also off to the side. So if I go here, it's, you know, it's about six, but it's way up there. If I put a box right here, oh, well, I'm on the wrong layer. So let's go back up here to the one that's not locked. All right, so I'm at about five, but if I take just this section, I'm only at about under two Um I'm under two inches, all right? So my picture makes it a little bit higher, but it is off to the side. So I'm not really covering up that whole entire like five and a half, six inches of space. So I'm just gonna take this whole part and group it all together and bring it over. Now, if you want to make a... Uh, Cut out the background of images so that you can use them. Maybe you're going to use it for a baby shower when you have images of the mom and dad or if it's a party um, and you want a picture of the birthday uh, person, girl or boy. You can use Remove RGB. So if you've never heard of that site, it is an awesome site to remove backgrounds. That is how I remove the background from my image. I did do a subscription because some of, you can get them where you can get high resolution images. I didn't really care for how it was, but I have a whole video on that. So go ahead and check that video out on how to use Remove RGB. I mean, I'm sorry, Remove RGB, Remove.bg, okay? So that's how I did that. And it is literally that simple to um, set, set up your template and put your designs on there if you're familiar with designs. Now, designing can be a different task. I have a few videos on that necessarily Snapchat designs, but just creating designs in general, um, how to trace out images, if it's going to be like a character, adding your text and things like that. So when it comes to that part, there's a lot when, it, you know, when it's design, you can um, not even really have a lot of design um, ability and you can bring in different PNGs and things like that to just make your Snapchat filter pop. But again, remember that the more elements you put um, into the filter, the larger the file will be, and there is a limitation of 300K. All right, once you go and you have it all set up the way you want, you're going to go over to File, Save As, Save to Hard Drive, and when you come here, you're going to uh, click the drop-down menu, and you're going to click on PNG. 
This is for business edition only. So this is not available in the basic version, designer edition, designer edition plus, um, only the business edition are you able to save as a PNG. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to go snap tutorial. When it comes up, it's going to give you a different um, setting than what you put on there. And you can see because of, it's because of the dots per inch. You want to change this to 100. If you don't, Snapchat will kick it back because it's looking for it to be a specific size. Then you want to make sure that you hit transparent background, which is also a requirement of um, Snapchat. So you see, once I hit 100 and enter or tab, it switches the pixels to 1080 by 2340. And that's what we want. We're going to go ahead and hit save. All right. Once you have it saved, you're going to go ahead, go to the Snapchat uh, create website, and you're going to upload that. So to see how exactly to upload the filter to Snapchat, go ahead and check out the video here. All right, guys. Hopefully you find this helpful. If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to go ahead and uh, leave it as a comment below, or you can email me. Again, if you aren't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm also going to leave a link to my Facebook group, Silaholics Anonymous Silhouette Help, in the description box. All right, guys, until next time, have a great one.